I've always been reflecting, somewhat finally, somewhat not, of um, women uh, and men who, uh, for free or paying rent, or I'm paying rent to them, have basically squatted in my home or my life. I had a roommate a long time ago came into my home, and I'm pretty sure in retrospect that she wanted to actually rent that home for herself. I had people that came in, white people that came into my home, and would tell people it belonged to them, whether they were paying rent or not. I was thinking of one roommate in particular, quite well off, and very territorial, and uh, I think she, it might not have been a well-formed theory, but she probably would have been happy to kick me out of my own home and take it for herself. And, uh, and then one of her friends really wanted to, wanted me to live with her, and I think that they kind of worked that out between them. Do. And uh, that was pretty, pretty psychotic. And so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. I've got the kind of life that people can live off of me, you know. That in itself doesn't mean I'm useful to society, but I'm useful to these people in a way that they, they're never grateful for. I'm not trying to be mean or angry. I look at the sanctity of this coast and think it's just something that happens in the world, you know. People can live off of me. I always thought it was the other way around, but it wasn't. They were living off of me. They were living off of me, and it's okay. I've, I've had a lot of time to deal with the shock of that. It's like, pretty much that covers most of the things I talk about. People who live off of me, live off of, squat off of my basement. Like, if you take away the people factor, even the last 24,000 miles I've walked in the area, I wouldn't have anything to be stressed about, <laughs> ever. And there's just no reason in my mind that people shouldn't be able to walk around the earth of any economic background, doing harm to none or any property, nor uttering vainglorious odes against various people and their children, should be allowed to walk around unmolested and not be questioned about what they're doing or where they come from by regular people. You know, you pay people to do that for you. intuitively uh, and to bring home to deal with it. Staving off the effects of snake medicine and alcoholism in my environment and I realize that this rock is answering to that call in a big big way. Oh look at that. I took off some of my hair. <laughs> um, I'm now smoking my own hair everyone. The stone that I hold in my hand on. It's being asked a lot, and I want to say thank you for that stone. I realize that there's some kind of influence in the homes of people around me, of some kind of huge imbalance. There's something um, empty, or emptied out. And 
this is like when leaders act more like followers, right? And people who are really following the pack think they're leading it. And uh, all kinds of people I've noticed in my life, these same people are living in a primal level. And I struggle to catch up with that. This way, if you look at people who are psychopaths or less than that, of learning to live at a very primal level. pound stone home. And I thought, no, I'll put this in a special spot. I'll find a smaller stone that will carry the same sort of charge. So that's what this stone is. 